Jumpa lagi bersama saya Abdul Gafur di pertemuan ke-10 di Papa Mula dengan materi Selamat Ulang Tahun. And you can also download the material in the description box below. And if you have any ideas, you can share your ideas in the comment box below. Thank you. Ada yang ulang tahun? Is there anyone who have a birthday today? No. <laughs> okay, now uh, I would like to recall the vocab from our last material. What does what did we learn? About question word what? Mengapa and then Karena, yeah. Mengapa is used for what is mengapa? Why and karena? Because. Because. Yes, very good. And what else? Selalu, selalu, sangat, sangat and sekali. What is sangat and sekali? Sangat. We are using before. Sangat the meaning? Sangat? Uh, very. Very. Yeah, very. So, and then, uh, sangat is used before? Uh, before word. Before the words, before the adjective. Mm -hmm. And then, sekali is used? After. After. Okay, nice. So, you all remember about it. Now, we are learning about selamat ulang tahun. Yeah. We call it happy birthday. So, birthday in Bahasa Indonesia is ulang tahun. Ulang tahun. And selamat, selamat actually congratulation. So, you can say selamat in every, any occasion. For example, like selamat hari raya, selamat ulang tahun, selamat lulus or happy graduation. Or what else? Selamat, selamat hari Kelahiran for the delivery, if someone already deliver the baby, you can also use in Islam. Or if you don't know the, the, the what occasion is that and then what happened and you forget something, you can just simply say Selamat. Selamat, Selamat. If you forget, that's the tips, yeah. You can just remember Selamat because this is congratulations. Okay. If you forget, is it birthday? What is the birthday in Bahasa Indonesia? You can just simply say Selamat, yeah. Actually, selamat is also a uh, savior. The meaning, the, the literal meaning is savior. Like, oh, uh, for example, I, I landed safely. Yeah, it means like, saya landing selamat dengan selamat. I landed safely. So, selamat means like save also, savior. And then, I would like to ask you, tanggal berapakah hari ini? Tanggal berapakah hari ini? Tanggal berapa hari ini? What is tanggal again? Date. Date. Berapa? What? How many? many? Yeah. Hari ini? Today. Today. So tanggal berapa hari ini? Kamis. Tanggal. Tanggal. Tanggal is always the number. If if there is a question like with berapa, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be answered with numbers. Dua puluh dua. Dua puluh dua. November. Yeah, November. It is the same. In November. Um, 2018. Dua ribu. Dua Delapan. Delapan. Belas. Belas. Yes. Tahun. No. Tahu, tahun supposed to be said in the front. Tahun 2018. And then pukul berapakah sekarang? Or you can say jam berapakah sekarang? Jam is time. Ya. Yeah. Hour. So jam is hour. Pukul. Pukul is also hour. Is also time. But also the other meaning of pukul is hit. 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 Yeah, but if pukul means berapa, it means hour. Yeah, it's hour or the time. 
So pukul berapa sekarang? Sekarang means now. Now. Sekarang is now. Pukul berapa sekarang? Jam. Jam? Enam belas. Enam belas. Enam belas. Minitnya? Minit? Minit? Tiga puluh. Tiga puluh lima. Enam belas tiga puluh lima. Ya. Or we can say if 16 lebih 35 lebih is more or past past is lewat ya you can say lebih or lewat so for 16 ya 16 lebih 35 or lewat 35 Pukul jam 16 lebih 35 menit We say menit For minutes And Jam To point the hours okay. Jam, menit Okay Now I would like to ask you once again Kapan hari ulang tahunmu? Do you still remember kapan? When? Kapan is when? Kapan hari ulang tahunmu? Lima. You can fake it if you want. Lima Desember. Lima Desember, okay. And. Tiga Oktober. Tiga Oktober. Ola. Enam six. Enam six ya. Enam Juli. 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 Okay. Bapa Anje. Tujuh Juli. Tujuh Juli. Oh, just different one. Yeah, question. Should I say kelima? Tidak. Kelima Desember. Tidak. Just say lima. Lima des. There is no kelima in dates. There is no ke. Like in English, like first, second, third. There is no such a grammar like that. We can just simply say the numbers. Lima. Or if you remember the day, for example, I was born. Hari Sabtu. 18 Februari tahun 1989 ya, 89 oke okay. the other question apakah kamu so, do you know apakah? this is for yes or no question so you can just answer with yes or no apakah kamu selalu merayakan merayakan is celebrating From raya, celebrate Merayakan Hari ulang tahunmu You know hari? Day Ulang tahunmu? Your, your birthday So What is the answer for this? Apakah kamu selalu merayakan hari ulang tahunmu? Saya tidak Tidak? Tidak merayakan Hmm How to say sometimes? The same. Tidak. Tidak. Oh tidak. Ya. Saya merayakan. Ibu Monica? Ya saya. Saya merayakan. Okay, can you can just say? Ya, saya selalu merayakan. Like every year. Kami merayakan hari nama. Hari nama? Hari nama. Name day. Oh, what is oh? For Christ, Christian Niti, I mean, to christening, the christening day. No. What What is hari nama? Name day. Yeah. One or two per year. Uh huh. Is that day with for Monica in calendar? Oh, there is there is a day for Monica in the calendar. Oh, I see. We don't have it. That's why I don't know. Oh, so what? When is Monica day? Empat Mei. Empat Mei every year. Every year. Every year empat Mei. What about Lucas? I don't know. You don't know. You don't have the name day. No, I'm not celebrating. You're not celebrating. Okay, Alexander. Delapan belas. Delapan belas. Mei. Mei. Oh, what about Papa Andre? Tiga puluh November. Tiga puluh November. Oh, so it this will be it will be this month. So you have to celebrate. 
<laughs> okay. Now, I want you to <coughs> to know this vocab. This is noun. This is verb. Anak bungsu. You know anak? Child. 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 Bungsu is the last. This is this only term for actually last is akhir. Akhir. It is it is the last. But if we if it means anak, it cannot be said like anak akhir. Yeah? It's supposed to be say anak bungsu, so the last child. Yeah. For example, my younger sister, my younger sister adalah anak bungsu, karena the only last child in my family. Hadiah. Hadiah? Gift. What is hadiah? Gift, Gift or present? Yeah. In Arabic also. In the Arabic also hadiah. Oh, okay. Hadiah. And then restaurant. I think you all know. Restaurant. Kue ulang tahun. What is kue? Cake. Cake. Yes. Cake. Kue ulang tahun. Kue. Jam tangan. Jam. Jam is what? Jam. Tangan. Tangan. Do you still remember tangan? The part of the body. What is tangan again? Hand. Hand. So jam tangan means watch. Jam tangan. Hello. Apa kabar? Baik. Selamat sore. Baik. Okay, buku. Book. Tiket pesawat. Tiket for airplane. Yeah, airplane ticket. Tiket pesawat. Pesawat is airplane or plane. Tiket. Tiket. Merayakan. So verb. Merayakan. It means to celebrate. Membeli. Beli from. From the word beli, to buy, to buy, yeah. Memberi, so there is beli and beri. Give. Yeah, memberi means give, to give, giving. Okay. Now I want you to read all the paragraphs, all the paragraph, only one simple paragraph, and you can tell me the translation. Read first. I can first only translate the first sentence. Okay, that's My good. My name is Marcy. No, 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 from the title. <laughs> um, present, present. You can read first the Bahasa Indonesia. Hadia ulang tahunku. Yeah, what is it? Um, birthday present. My birthday present. Yeah. present. My. My. Yeah, remember, that is two yeah. year. Okay. And then? Nama saya Marcini. Yeah. Um, my name is Marcini. And then? Saya adalah anak bungsu dari empat bersaudara. Mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, la last child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from from six. No. Uh, uh, four. 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 Uh, um, siblings. 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 Yeah. Okay. The other want to continue. Saya lahir, you know, lahir, born. Saya lahir born. Pada tanggal sembilan belas September. Sembilan belas sembilan enam. Actually, this this year. It's not usually say one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. You can just simply say it like nineteen ninety-six. Yeah. So nineteen is sembilan belas. Ninety-six, sembilan puluh enam, or sembilan enam. Like 
We all in, in Indonesia usually say 1996. Like in English. Like in English. But not 96. Hmm. Because 96 is 96. But we say just 96. Like 1996. 1996. If it is only the 19. Yeah, 19 years. Yeah, 19 for. But 2000, we say 2000. For 2000. Not 20. Tidak ada 20, 18. There is no 20. There is no 20. In Bahasa Indonesia for a year. We, we complete say 2018, 2001, 2002. Yeah, but for 19, because maybe it's too many to, if we say like. 1990, it's like a long sentence, so we can just simply 1990. Okay, so what is the meaning of saya lahir pada tanggal 19 September 96? I was born. I was born. Pada tanggal pada? You know pada? At. Or in, on, at, it could be pada. In on at is pada. For for the dates we use pada. For dates, yeah. Tanggal 19 September. So tanggal means dates. 19 September 96. Saya jarang merayakan ulang tahun. Okay. You have to remember again what is jarang on our previous material. Seldom. Seldom. Yes, that's nice. Saya jarang merayakan ulang tahun. Merayakan ulang tahun? Celebrating by the okay. Namun, what is namun? But. But. So there are two words of but in Bahasa Indonesia. Namun or tapi. Tapi. But namun is the like commonly used for written text. Tapi is commonly used for speaking, for spoken. Yeah. Both are informal. Eh, both are formal. Yeah, both are formal. But for written we use namun, for speaking we use tapi. Okay. Namun, tahun ini, this year, this this year, year. saya dan keluarga merayakan ulang tahun saya di restoran. Me and keluarga Family, family. Celebrating, celebrating birthday. Ulang tahun my, my birthday. Ulang tahun saya. My birthday. In restaurant. In restaurant. Yes. <coughs> Teman-teman kuliah saya. My friends. Friends. Kuliah. What is kuliah? Kuliah is the the the. Continuation of school. So after school, we got kuliah. What is kuliah? College. Yeah. So my college friends. Yeah. Teman-teman kuliah saya juga. What is juga? Also. Also or two. Also come. Datang. Datang is come. Mereka membeli kue ulang tahun yang besar. Membeli. Mereka, what is mereka? They. They. Membeli. Buy. Buy. Membeli, buy. Kue ulang tahun? Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Which is Yang big. besar. Which yang is besar. Which is big. big. So the big. They bought. Ya. Yeah, big birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Teman-teman saya. My friends. My friends. So if there is teman-teman, it means like more than one. You only say like teman satu kelas, it means like it, it also means more than one. It depends on the, for example, this one, there is no no adverb of how many friends uh, she has. But only like teman-teman kuliah, it means like there is no exact number. Yeah. But if you say like teman sekelas, it means like the whole friends in the in the classroom. Teman sekelas, sekelas means the same class with you, or at that class with you. Teman-teman saya, 
memberi hadiah my friends mm-hmm. memberi give, give present present sebuah jam tangan so dari sebuah sebuah is a, a watch so sebuah is to point that this is a, a thing okay. yeah because we have like many many words to say a or an in bahasa Indonesia for example if it is a staff we use sebuah but if it is an animal we use ekor ekor, ekor is tail yeah like all animals we, we think that it is it has a tail so seekor seekor kucing for example it means like a cat seekor kucing seekor anjing a dog and then for example again for a loaf of um, chocolate a bar of chocolate we say sebatang coklat question i remember something um, for rounded uh, rounded yeah. Mm-hmm. Se, butir it means like a butir uh, rice for rice like many <laughs> but it is impossible to count if it is only like one or two it could be you can say sebutir sebutir it means like things very little like sebutir rice beras or sebutir uh, pearl mutiara a pearl for example for a necklace Mm-hmm. Sebutir, you can say sebutir mutiara. Mutiara is a pearl. Mutiara. What else? Seorang is for people. Seorang. And then for uh, vegetables who has a tie, for example, like seikat, seikat, uh, what to say? Seikat spinach. Spinach is uh, bayam. Bayam, B A Y A M, spinach. Seikat bayam. But for flower, yeah. Like in English, we have as a bunch of flowers. But in Bahasa Indonesia, we also say seikat bunga, like seikat, because it has a tie, yeah. It has a tie, so we say it's like everything with a tie. We say seikat because ikat is tie. Ikat is tie, but it's different. A tie you use for a shirt. We call it dasi. Dasi. It's different. Okay, next. Teman-teman saya memberi hadiah sebuah jam tangan, so a watch. Yeah. Keluarga saya memberi saya hadiah buku. My family. Um, give me mm-hmm. present for present book and present of book uh, and airplane ticket to Thailand. Yes, very good, nice. Yeah. Okay. Now you know all. Is there any question about this text? Ask me question if you don't know. If it is not clear yet. So you already know how many siblings she has and then she is the last it means like anak bumsu and then what gift she got from friends and from family after the, the text there must be a question yeah i will give you the question so number one Berapa orang saudara? So, jawablah pertanyaan-pertanyaan di bawah ini. Jawablah means answer. Please answer. Like if there is lah, yeah. After the verb, it means like please answer. Like please. Pertanyaan-pertanyaan. The questions di bawah ini below. Di bawah ini. This below. Yeah, atau below this. Ini is this. Okay. Number one. Berapa orang saudara Marsini? Empat. 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 What is berapa orang saudara Marsini in English? How many uh, siblings? Yes, saudara is sibling. How many siblings Marsini has? 
Tanggal berapa Marx ini lahir? Sembilan belas Sembilan belas Nineteen September Tahun Tahun Sembilan belas Sembilan belas Sembilan puluh Sembilan Enam Enam, yes, very good Sembilan belas, sembilan puluh enam Number three Apakah Marsini selalu merayakan hari ulang tahunnya? Okay, the question is the same With yes or no answer Apakah Marsini selalu Always Merayakan hari ulang tahunnya Tidak Why? Mars ini Jarang Jarang, yes, very good Jarang, seldom Next, number four Bagaimana? Do you know bagaimana? Why? How? How? How is Mars ini merayakan Hari ulang tahunnya tahun ini Hari ulang tahunnya tahun ini Ulang tahunnya means her birthday Tahun ini, this year Yes, bagaimana? It means like how? Berarti you can answer with bersama Bersama teman-temannya dan keluarganya di restoran Oke, okay, bersama keluarga dan teman-teman di restoran. You know, ulang, what is ulang? Ulang is continuous. In bahasa Indonesia, ulang is continue. <coughs> like repeat, for example. Like repeat, repeat, repeat. Tahun means year. So, like repeating year. Like ulang tahun, repeating year. And next, number five. Apa hadiah ulang tahun dari keluarga Marsini? Apa hadiah? Um, tiket pesawat di Thailand ke ke Thailand. Ke Thailand. Tiket pesawat ke so, tiket ke Thailand. Ke, ya, airplane tiket to Thailand and then dan dan buku. Yes, very good. But what about number six? Apa hadiah ulang tahun dari teman-temannya? From friends. Jam tangan. Jam tangan. Watch. Jam tangan. <coughs> okay. Next. <coughs> Now, I would like to play the audio. But before. I play the audio. I want you to remember <coughs> the vocabulary first. This is the noun. This is the verb. So from the noun we have tanggal. What is tanggal again? Date. Date. Mm -hmm. Jumat. Friday. So this is not read right read right as Jumat, but Jumat with apostrophe actually, like in Arabic, because we observe this word from Arabic. Jumat, Friday. Friday. So we don't say it Jumat, we say it Jumat. Even <coughs> even though there is no apostrophe, but we say it because it's from Arabic. Senin, Monday. Monday. Tahun, yeah. year. year. Lahir, born. born. Berulang tahun. If there is ber, it means mm. <coughs> no. Remember again about the prefix ber. Yeah. Half like having a birthday. So ber ulang tahun it means like having a birthday. Okay. Now, for example, I want you to check. Is that true or false? <coughs> yeah. For number one, Sarah lahir pada tanggal 15. I already check it. Yeah, it's true. So Sarah, there is there is a conversation between Sarah and Santi. Yeah, Sarah and Santi. 
The first Sarah lahir pada tanggal 15. So Sarah was born pada tanggal 15 at date 15. Okay. Is that true that Sarah lahir pada bulan 1991? 1991. Okay. Do you know what the, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. so Santi was, was born at year. or in in, the year. in year 1991. Okay. Number four. Tahun ini Sarah berulang tahun pada hari Jumat. Tahun ini. This year, this year, Sarah is having is having birthday pada hari Jumat. At Friday. At Friday. Yeah. Hari Jumat means Friday. Hari. Yeah. We 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 usually also use hari at day Friday. Yeah. <coughs> Number five. Tahun ini, Santi berulang tahun pada hari Selasa. This year. This year. Santi. Is having birthday. Birthday. In Tuesday. In Tuesday. So Selasa is Tuesday. Yeah. There is some. Yeah. For, for days. There is some for days. For so, kids. For kids. <laughs> yeah. You remember the song? Yeah. Can you sing? Oh, no. Can you sing? That's okay. Okay, together with me. Senin Selasa, Rabu, Kamis. Jumat, 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 Sabtu, Jumat, Minggu, Minggu itu nama-nama hari very good. Bravo. <laughs> okay, now listen to the audio. Jadi, tahun ini Anda berulang tahun pada hari Jumat Dan saya berulang tahun pada hari Senin Betul sekali, Sarah You got it or not? No So, the one who asked first Okay, I would like to repeat Simakan Or you want to write down the, the sentence first from number two until number five. Maybe you, it's better for you to write down this one and then you can just read your text without reading the whiteboard. Already? Already, Ibu Monica? No. Okay. Okay. Kapan anda lahir Sarah? So if someone say Kapan anda lahir Sarah It means like the opposite So the one who asks first is Santi yeah, Just remember the voice of Santi Kapan anda lahir Sarah? So Sarah answer Tanggal 15 Mei 1990 Bagaimana dengan anda? Oh, saya lahir tanggal 20 Juli 1991 Jadi, tahun ini Anda berulang tahun pada hari Jumat Dan saya berulang tahun pada hari Senin Betul sekali, Sarah Oke okay. So, is that true? Sarah lahir pada bulan Juli? No No, false So, Sarah lahir pada bulan? Mai Mai What about number three? Santi lahir pada tahun 1991 9, 1991 Benar Benar? You got it or not? Iya benar <laughs> yeah. What about number four? 
Still. Okay, I will repeat the last one. Simakan empat satu. Kapan anda lahir Sarah? Tanggal 15 Mei 1990. Bagaimana dengan anda? Oh, saya lahir tanggal 20 Juli 1991. Jadi, tahun ini Anda berulang tahun pada hari Jumat dan saya berulang tahun pada hari Senin. Betul sekali, Sarah. Oke, okay. both wrong. Both wrong. Ya, yeah, so Sarah berulang tahun pada hari Senin. Senin dan Santi berulang tahun pada hari Jumat, Jumat ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. So four and five is wrong. Okay. Now I want you to to complete the conversation. Maybe you can write down first, and then I will play the audio. So listen, and then just complete what does the Speaker said. That is Willy and Ima. Maybe I will play the audio twice. You ready? Simakan empat dua. Kapan tanggal lahirmu, Ima? Tanggal 3 Januari 1995 Bagaimana dengan kamu? Tanggal lahirku 29 Maret 1989 You want me to, you want me to repeat or not? No Repeat? Okay, I will repeat once again Simakan Empat, dua. Kapan tanggal lahirmu, Ima? Tanggal 3 Januari 1995. Bagaimana dengan kamu? Tanggal lahirku, 29 Maret 1989. Oke. Okay. So, what is... The first blind? Kapan? What is kapan? When. When, not what. When. And then what is the second blind? Tanggal. What is tanggal? Day. Very good. Nice. Next, another audio. So today is listening day. I want you to check from the audio, which one of the numbers they say? Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to tell you first how the how the how will it be? It is tiga ratus lima puluh ribu. Three three top three hundred fifty thousand. Tiga ratus lima puluh ribu. What about this? Tiga belas. What about this? Seribu dua ratus. Okay. There is no like in English. They have twelve, twelve hundred, dua belas ratus. There is no such things in Bahasa Indonesia with twelve hundred. Like I, I, I all have in English. It could be say. 1200 but there is no such a thing in Bahasa Indonesia with 1200 it, it's supposed to be said 1200 okay what about this 66 66 what about this 35000 35000 and this 2050 yeah 2050 2050 again 2050 the same what about this 44 
and this one 2050 so there will be three 2050 okay so i want you to listen simakan empat tiga satu tiga puluh lima ribu there any tiga puluh lima ribu here? dua tiga puluh tiga puluh is there? tiga seribu dua ratus is there any seribu dua ratus here? empat enam puluh enam lima dua ribu lima belas That's it. So which one? From this number? Yep. The first? Tiga ratus lima puluh ribu. Ribu? Is that? Is there any tiga ratus lima puluh ribu? Tiga puluh lima ribu. <laughs> so which one is true? Tiga puluh lima ribu atau tiga ratus lima puluh lima? Tiga ratus lima puluh ribu. Okay, I will repeat once again. Don't worry. Simakan empat tiga satu tiga puluh lima ribu dua tiga puluh tiga seribu dua ratus. Enam puluh enam Lima Dua ribu lima belas Oke So Which one? Is there any tiga ratus lima puluh ribu? Is there any? No Oke What about tiga belas? No No Seribu dua ratus? Yes. Enam puluh enam? Yes. Tiga puluh lima ribu? Yes. Dua ribu lima puluh? No. Empat puluh empat? No. No. Once again, but I want you to write down from number one until number five. So listen carefully and write it down. Okay. Simakan empat tiga satu tiga puluh lima ribu dua tiga puluh tiga seribu dua ratus empat Enam puluh enam Lima Dua ribu lima belas Alright So number one is Tiga puluh Tiga puluh Lima puluh No, tiga puluh lima Thirty five Ya, lima puluh is fifty Ya, tiga puluh lima ribu What about number so thirty thirty five thousand yeah number one. What about number two? Tiga puluh thirty yes thirty. Number three? Seribu dua ratus one thousand two hundred. Number four? What is number enam? Sixty six. And number five? Dua ribu lima belas. What is dua ribu lima belas in English? Two thousand fifteen. Yes, very nice. That's good. Is there any question so far? No. Do you follow me? Yeah. Okay. Another numbers. The first. I want you to write down. Into words. The numbers.
I plan to give you a test next week on Monday, maybe. From the material, our first material, like introduction, until this material. Just to check, I want to know how far you already comprehend our material. And then maybe on Thursday we will not having any material, we will watch movie. Like the whole movie costs like one hour and a half. It's an Indonesian movie, of course, with English subtitle. Don't worry. And maybe after watching movie, you can share me the ideas inside the movie. I watched few few movies from Indonesia. Okay, so tell me what what title of movies in Indonesia you have ever watched? Of course, almost all with equal wise. Equal wise, okay. <laughs> There is no equal wise there. It's yeah. an old movie actually. Yeah. Like um, it produced around 19, 19 something. The movie is about what? The movie is about family, with the character of Reza Rahadian. Do you know Reza Rahadian? One of the main character in that movie is Reza Rahadian, the actor. Yeah. You don't. You don't know. It's the old. Movie from Reza Radian. Reza Radian actually is the the famous one. the The title of the movie is Emak Ingin Naik Haji. You you haven't watched it. <laughs> All right. Actually, I have the better one, but it it's quite long, like two hours and a half, and it will not possible for us to watch it. All right. Finish. Yeah? So, Mas Lucas number one? Uh, tiga puluh Ibu Monica number two? Seratus tujuh Mbak Ola number three? Dua ribu lima ratus lima puluh Mas Kostek number four? I don't know about this one because it's like, what does it mean? You can just say ke Ke And then? Okay, uh, the lima puluh Sembilan. Ke lima puluh sembilan means like the fifty ninth or fifty ninth, yeah, with the H at the end. By Vona number five. Dua ratus lima puluh seribu. Ribu. Ribu empat ratus. Okay. Bapa Andre number three. Three. Dua dua ribu. Yeah. Okay. Now answer the question. The second, second one, on the second part. If there is berapa, what does it mean? How many? How many? If there is jumlah, total, total, total amount. So total summary. Yeah. And then. There is kursi. Oh no, before kursi. After kursi, di kelas anda, di kelas, in the class, anda, you. So in your class here, di kelas anda, it means like in your class, yeah. So kursi is chair, kursi, meja, table, meja table, guru, teacher. Siswa, student, student. Okay, number five. Hari keberapakah anda belajar sekarang? The answer will be hari ini adalah hari ke. Bla bla bla. Saya belajar. What does it means? In what days? Like how many days you already learn now? Like. Hari keberapakah? If there is a question with hari keberapakah anda belajar sekarang, it will be answer. Anda belajar sekarang? What does it means? You learn. You learn or you study now. So in what days or how many days you you learn until now? Belajar in this context is belajar bahasa Indonesia. The answer will be like hari ini, today. 
adalah hari ke. Do you know ke? Like ke, you can say with the second, third, fourth, fifth, as like this. But the first, what is first in bahasa Indonesia? Pertama. Pertama. So you can say hari ke berapa? Hari ke sepuluh, for example, or hari ke tiga belas. Saya belajar. I I study. Now you can answer. <coughs> you can count how many chairs and how many tables in this class. Answer with Bahasa Indonesia, of course. Plus with me. <laughs> yeah, number one. So we, if there is a question like berapa jumlah kursi di kelas anda, you can answer with jumlah kursi di kelas saya di kelas saya adalah adalah means is or are adalah dua puluh oke now I would like to ask ibu Monica berapa jumlah meja di kelas anda berapa jumlah meja di kelas anda satu meja di kelas. Is that satu? <laughs> you ah. didn't see this meja. <laughs> okay. uh, dua. dua. Ada. So uh. jumlah meja, you can answer with. Jumlah, jumlah meja, meja di kelas, di kelas saya, saya ada. Or ada. Ada dua. Ada dua. <laughs> okay. Plus on the back. We don't count it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number three, Mbak Ola, berapa jumlah guru di kelas Anda? Hmm, jumlah guru hmm, di kelas saya hmm, adalah satu. satu. Satu orang. And then, Mas Kostek, berapa jumlah siswa di kelas Anda? Siswa. What is siswa again? Student. Ya, siswa student. So it's uh, You can count satu, satu, dua, tiga, and you at uh, lima, uh, enam, enam. Yeah. So, so you can answer uh, with jumlah siswa. Jumlah siswa di kelas saya mm -hmm. uh, uh, ada ada enam. Ada enam. You can say with adalah or ada, ya. Yeah. And Mas Lukas, hari keberapakah anda belajar sekarang? Hari ini adalah hari ke, ke let's say 15? 15. 15. Saya belajar. Oke. Okay. And Bapak Andre, hari keberapakah anda belajar sekarang? Di kelas ini, in this class, in beginner. <coughs> no, with this answer, hari ini hari ke hmm, no kedua in this class in this beginner class kedua right the second time kedua yeah, second time means kedua no no in this beginner class. Hari kedua saya belajar. Alright. So there is a expression or a phrase of telling tanggal, hari, minggu, bulan dan tahun. So tanggal means day, hari is day, minggu is week, week. But also minggu is a day, one of the day. It is Sunday, yeah. But in this context, it is week, bulan, month, tahun, year. For example, hari ini tanggal 1 Januari. Hari ini hari Senin. Okay. Now maybe you can read it aloud and you may 
If you confused, you can ask me. From Besok. Together. Read. Besok tanggal 2 Januari. Yes. Kemarin hari ini. Kemarin tanggal 31 Desember. Yep. Besok hari Selasa. Yes. Lusa tanggal 3 Januari. Yep. Lusa hari Rabu. Yep. Bulan ini bulan Januari. Bulan ini bulan Januari. Iya, yeah, oke. Okay. Bulan depan bulan Februari. Iya. Yeah. Bulan lalu bulan Desember. So what is Lusa example? So oke. Okay. Bulan ini bulan November. Bulan apa? Bulan depan. Atau apa bulan depan? Bulan apa bulan depan? Bulan depan adalah adalah bulan No, bulan ini bulan Bulan ini bulan November So bulan apa bulan depan Bulan depan Desember. adalah Bulan Desember Bulan apa bulan lalu Bulan lalu adalah Oktober Oke okay. Good Hari ini hari apa Hari ini hari apa? Atau hari, hari apa hari ini? Hari ini hari Kamis. Ya. Hari apa besok? Jumat. Jumat. Hari apa kemarin? Rabu. Kemarin Rabu. Hari apa lusa? Hari Selasa. No. Sat Saturday. Saturday. Lusa lusa. The day after tomorrow. Sabtu. Sabtu. Hari apa kemarin lusa? Selasa. Kemarin lusa Selasa. Yeah. Just remember. So besok. So hari ini means today. Besok means. Besok means tomorrow. tomorrow. Kemarin means yesterday. yesterday. Lusa means day after tomorrow. Kemarin lusa means the day before yesterday. Yeah, but before yesterday. Bulan ini this month. Bulan depan next month. Bulan lalu. Ya, yeah, last month or previous month, ya. Yeah. And then what about tahun ini? This year. This year. Tahun depan? Next year. Tahun lalu? Next year. Yes, that's. You can just simply say ini depan lalu, ya. Yeah. Ini depan lalu. Besok kemarin lusa. Sabtu. Sabtu, oke. Okay. There is a song that I already we already sang it together with Lucas like Senin Selasa Senin is Monday mm -hmm. so we start day with Monday okay. yeah not like in English it started with uh, Sunday but in Bahasa Indonesia with Monday Senin mm -hmm. and then Selasa Selasa Tuesday and then yeah. Wednesday Rabu what about Thursday Kamis What about Friday? Jumat. What about Sabtu? Sabtu. Eh, Sabtu. Saturday? Sabtu. And Minggu? Minggu. Minggu. Okay. Sunday. Minggu. We also use Minggu for week. Minggu. Yeah. And also bulan. Bulan is month. And also the moon. The moon as well. Yeah. Bulan. Senin, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumat, Sabtu, Minggu itu nama-nama hari. Nama-nama is like the names of the day. Nama-nama hari. Alright. Now just see the calendar of March, Maret 2016. Ya. Maret 2016, hari Kamis. Catatan, ulang tahunku. Mira, so Mira 
notes that 10 Maret 2016 is her birthday ya ulang tahunnya oke okay. Mira lahir pada tanggal 10 Maret no 10 Maret 2016 actually 2016 bukan 1994 2016 tahun ini ulang tahun Mira oh Oke, okay. Mira lahir pada tanggal 10 Maret 1994. 1994. Tahun ini, tahun ini means 2016, ya 2016. Ulang tahun Mira jatuh pada jatuh means like exact or fall at Thursday. So jatuh is fall ya. Bahasa Indonesia jatuh is fall. Jatuh. Pada hari Kamis, we usually say jatuh pada hari Kamis, it means like the day is at the exact day of ya, But in bahasa Indonesia, jatuh pada hari Kamis So answer these questions ya. Based on this calendar 10 Maret 2016, hari Kamis Hari ini, hari ulang tahun Mira Besok hari apa? Besok hari apa? Hari ini hari ulang tahun Mira So it means like Hari ini hari Kamis So besok hari apa? Besok hari? Jumat Ya besok Jumat Tomorrow Number two Kemarin hari apa? Kemarin hari apa? Kemarin adalah Rabu, yes Or just simply Rabu Number three Jatuh pada hari apa Ulang tahun Mira tahun lalu Ulang tahun Mira tahun lalu You may open your calendar in, in, in mobile phone if you want 2015 Hari apa? 10 Maret 2016 But usually a year, a day, a year is only like moving one day So, ulang tahun Mira, tahun lalu Hari yeah. Rabu Rabu, oke okay. Number four Bulan ini, bulan Mira lahir So, this month Is the month of Mira Was born yeah. Bulan depan, bulan apa? So, bulan ini bulan Maret So, bulan depan bulan April April ya. Bulan lalu bulan apa? Bulan lalu Februari ya. Tahun ini tahun 2016 Tahun depan tahun berapa? Tahun depan So Let's say This year is 2016 So tahun depan tahun 2017 Tahun lalu tahun 2015 Yes very nice So this is kind of a invitation birthday from Ima Marlia. Ima Marlia ulang tahun kapan? Kapan Ima Marlia ulang tahun? Kapan? Kapan is when? Kapan Ima Marlia ulang tahun? That is the answer here. Yeah. You can just read. Ibu dua puluh tujuh. Dua ribu lima belas. Jam berapa? Jam. Jam berapa dia berulang tahun? Jam empat. Jam empat sore. Because sore empat is already evening ya. Empat sore. Jam is hour. 
okay. as well as pukul. Pukul. Mm. pukul and jump, same. But another meaning of pukul is hit. But pukul in this invitation is very formal. Yeah, pukul is very formal word okay. for hour, for time. Yeah. And what's the, the other meaning of pukul? Hit. 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 Oh, yeah. Like hit. It's pukul. Okay. It depends on the context. Yeah, it depends on the context. Okay, tempat. <coughs> what is tempat? Place. 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 Di mana dia berulang tahun? Di mana? What is di mana? Where? 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 Di mana dia berulang tahun? Dia berulang tahun di Margawangi. Margawangi. Mm -hmm. Nomor. Nomor. Mm -hmm. Bandung. Bandung. Yes. Bandung. Okay. So undangan is invitation. Undangan. Invitation. Invitation. So if you want to say to invite, you can say mengundang. So the root of this word is mengundang, from undang, to invite. Mengundang, meng, pakai ang, mengundang. Mengundang. Okay. There is a conversation between Ima and Willy with... Oh. I think the time is not enough, but maybe we can use uh, this on our next material. Now, in the last minutes of our meeting today, I would like to share, I would like to ask from you, how is the culture from Poland about birthday? How will it looks like, I mean like, how will it be looks for children, for Teenager for adults. Can you tell me? And then I will later tell you how does how it, it well, how it looks like in Indonesia. Ibu Monica, about your birthday. My birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, how does it look? In English. Yeah, in English. That's okay. Uh, I uh, bake a cake. You bake a cake? Oh, okay. By myself, yes. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes uh, came the parents of my husband. Uh -huh. Sometimes just my mother. All right. And my children, of course. And your children? Uh -huh. And so uh, we sit in the living room mm -hmm. talking. Mm. So who, who will you invite? Just, uh, just the family. Just the family. Yes. Oh, just the family. What about the colleagues, the, no. the office mates, maybe? No. Your best friends? No. What about you? You didn't celebrate? You celebrated, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually I spend a little bit time with my family. Mm -hmm. Usually. And, yes. And after that I'm going out to the restaurant or something with my friends. With, with your friends? Close friends. Oh, very close friends. And celebrating with the birthday cake? Um, sometimes yes. Sometimes yes. Sometimes yes. Sometimes. Only some dinner. And, uh -huh. that's and what about you? Because do you usually celebrating your birthday? Yeah. Or your name name day? Uh, uh, I actually both. Both. But I'm not like mark celebrate my uh, name day. Okay. So uh, I will ask you. It's like tradition in Poland. So my parents, for example. Your your parents will celebrate. So kapan kapan anda berulang tahun? When, 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 when is your birthday? birthday. Kapan anda berulang tahun? Mm, it's uh, um, enam belas, enam belas, enam belas, enam belas, enam belas, okay. And what is your name day? Um, when is your name day? It's um, oh, I 
Sebelas. Uh, uh, Maret. Maret. And what you usually do on your birthday? Oh, I also have a small celebration so with my family. With your family. And okay. also after this. After family. celebration? With not, not the same, same day, but I oh, not the same day. do some kind of party for my friends. Mm -hmm. Is there also like surprise from your friend? Oh, it's, it happens to it me happens. once. And it was very funny, actually. So can you tell me it's, it's what, what's what's funny? Su surprise somebody every year. Yeah. Okay? But I didn't like. I was very surprised because I was uh, like we we have a party mm -hmm. the day before this mm -hmm. uh, surprise party, yeah. and I was very wasted the next day. So <laughs> I. I so you you got a party all night long. Yeah. And I <laughs> expect okay. another one. So yeah, that was all fun. right. And what, what happened in your name day? Oh, uh, also only with my family. Like, Just uh, with the cake yes, or something with the like cake? The cake and, yeah. Oh. And by Ivona, what happened with your birthday? When? Kapan? Anda berulang tahun? Mm. 14 Maret. 14 Maret? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, kapan uh, ulang tahun nama Anda? What, when is your name day? Oh, um, it's um, 23. 23? Mm -hmm. May. May. Okay, 23 May. So what happened on your birthday this, this oh, year? It's uh, similar to Ola. To Ola? Yes, it's like uh, first family, then friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, so family first? Yes. In the morning and then friends? Yes. Do you usually like to take a day off on your birthday? Day, day off? Day off, no. like from the office? No. No, okay. No. And what happened on your name day? Name day, it's uh, nothing. Uh, nothing happened. Just my grandmother and mother, they call me and... They call you and celebrate. Mm -hmm. Like congratulate you on yeah. your name day. Yeah. And what is the meaning of name day? Mm -hmm. Why do you celebrate name day? Can you tell me the culture of that? From what I from what I know, it's like it was um, like birthday was like it's like Western, and mm -hmm. uh, we celebrate a name day in Poland uh, from for a very long time, mm -hmm. but it changed like now it's more like a birthday. More like birthday. Yeah. Oh. And uh, but um, it was very popular. Uh, like years Is it only in Poland, or it happens also in another in another country? In German also. In German also. Oh, so they have like the same name, like 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 I I also have another Monica in my in my other classes, and also another Ola and another Constant. No no no, another Ivona. Like I have a lot of Ivona in another class. Every class I think has Ivona. Yes, <laughs> really. <laughs> I think it's connected also with religion somehow because ah, it's like the day of like the, the name of religion. religion. Patron, from mm -hmm. Christian patron, mm -hmm. like th this day, uh, for example, be belongs to this patron. Mm -hmm. So the person that has the same name that this patron, oh. like celebrated. So day. there will be like three hundred and sixty-five name in in Poland, or more than it. No. More, uh, more, two, but some. Yeah. One day. Oh, sometimes two or three in one day. Oh, I see. I thought it will it will be like one one name in a day. So also in Christmas you you have also the name day. Oh, what is the name? Eve. Eve. Oh, nice, Eva. Yeah, Eva is Eva also in in to type. Oh, so Eva a name day in in Christmas. Oh, I would like to tell you about how will it be like in Indonesia. For example, me, because I already adult, so I I will not have any kind of. Uh, children celebration, especially in the office, maybe we don't celebrate party or birthday in the office, only our, our close friend or family. Like in the morning, when I, when I wake up, my family already bring a cake, mm -hmm. and I should blow the mm -hmm. candles, and then wishes, and then I cut the cake, and then the first cake, usually they, they, we should give the first cut or the first slice of the cake to someone we 
we love the most. In that context, I will give it to my mother first, yeah, and then I will put it on my father's, and then I will put it to my sister, and then we all eating together, and then after that, in the afternoon, sometimes my best friend doing something not really good, like they're they're staying away from me in in that week, like the whole week, no one friends like they they're. They are together, cooperating, to stay away from me. Like it feels like I'm guilty. Like if I do something, so in the in the previous month, for example, except, or, or at the beginning of February, because I I was born on 18th of February, so it will be like at the beginning of February. If I say something to my friend, they will be like get offended or angry, and then I feels like oh I'm I already say I'm sorry, but. They they are still like I don't care you are not unforgiven. <laughs> then on my birthday they are all like coming like happy birthday we are all joking. <laughs> so it makes like really. <laughs> but it it happens also sometimes not every year like in the five years once <laughs> not every year continuously only like in five years and then happens again like but we also do the things to our friends like if some someone says things bad things and then we will get fake offended and then we will be angry to to them and then on their birthday we will come with our cake and or whatever and our present and then we set the birthday place and then after day after day they will invite us to the restaurant and do you also like who will pay like in in dutch i heard that uh, the one whose birthday is not paying, like in in the, that's why there is a term go Dutch. So you have to buy, you you have to pay by yourself. What about this? If in it is in your birthday and you invite friends to the restaurant, you will pay or it will be separated bill. It depends. It's not the same for me. I, I pay because you, I, I you invite them. Mm. Yeah, so I oh, I see. Like the same in in. in Indonesia as well and but usually in Indonesia we are not using a cake we are using this nasi tumpeng so this is a rice yellow rice with many condiments so usually we cut the tip the tip we cut the tip so before cutting the tip we usually pray and then after that we cut the tip and we took some condiments and we give the plate to the one who who we love the most or who close the most yeah usually if but usually i give this nasi tumpeng so nasi is rice tumpeng is like tumpeng like high mm -hmm. with some condiments there is a um, fried mashed potato here there is a tempe bacem tempe you know tempe you know, you don't know tempeh. Tempe is a soy cake. Okay. Soy cake. And then we have tahu bacem. Tahu is tofu. Mm. Yeah. So after tempe, there will be tofu. Is it vegetarian dish? No. Oh. There will be chicken and prawn as well. And also like veggies here. Like a lot of, we have carrot, we have uh, sprout, and we have a grated coconut. But it will be spicy. And then we have like a noodle fried noodle and there will be like flour of tomatoes so they will make a flour of tomatoes or flour so this flour it could be eaten mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be like from fr any fruits or vegetables like from carrots as well and also the lettuce and this one is made by banana leaves banana leaves and put in one plate, one big plate actually, it could be like a half of this table. Okay. <laughs> so which part do you, uh, you give to your mother? Which part is the best? Please. No, it's supposed to be my mother should give us. I mean, I, I oh. give the whole, like me and my sister together, we pay for, for this, mm -hmm. this cake. It usually costs only like cheap. Like two hundred thousand, mm, it 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 costs like two hundred thousand rupees. How many two hundred thousand rupees in zloty? 
One zoti is four thousand. So one hundred zoti, okay, fifty fifty zoti for the big nasi tumpeng. And we give it to our mother when in her birthday. And then later after she pray, she cut the tip and then maybe she will give it to the father first, to my father. And then the other slice to me and my sister. And then we eat together. That's the, the, the family culture actually. But for friends, for example, in, in sometimes we, we bring the cake to the mall when, when, when it, it is on my birthday. And I'm like sitting on a Starbucks. And then sometimes like there will be friends bringing whole big cake with candles and then they want me like and they will sing it in the front of the people and then happy birthday to you happy birthday to you and then I should blow the cake but sometimes the worst thing of birthday in Indonesia when you hold it in in a special room the birthday cake will be put like to your to your face <laughs> But it depends. It depends on the friend. Maybe they prepare the other, the other cake <laughs> to be eaten. But the first cake supposed to be put on, on your face. <laughs> Is there any special celebration like for birthday here? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Depend. Depend. Like this one is the traditional one from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's different. Like the cake is the modern one. The new culture. This one is supposed to be the traditional. It is, this, this rice is not only served in birthday, usually in anniversary or any celebration. Any kind of celebration. For example, the anniversary of uh, the embassy, sometimes they put. Or after the Independence Day, for example. Like every. We, we used to be have a flag ceremony. And then after the flag ceremony, our boss will have this and cut, and they will give to the vice director. My boss will probably give to the vice director, and the rest we should take it all by myself. Any other special one that you have ever experienced? I have also bad experience. Not bad. My maybe funny. When I was in junior high school, uh, I used to walk from my school to my home like two kilometers of uh, distance. And then in the middle of the road, when I walk, there there is some friends behind me. I thought that they they forgot, they forgot about my birthday. But then they remember. Then they they chase me, and then they put like an X to my head. Like many people give me an X. Not until that, it's not finished yet. After an egg, they will like pour me with the flour. Flour. Mm. Like, really in the middle of the road, when I'm going back to home, I will, I will be full of the, the eggs and the flour. And then after that, there is no present at all. <laughs> they just give me that and then say, "Happy birthday! You don't have, you don't have to be angry because this is your birthday. You shouldn't be angry." Then okay, then I just walk to my home with that condition. <laughs> but it's only like in the in the high school. It will not happen again when I finish school. Okay, is there any question about this material? Is that clear enough? The one who's just coming, is, you have any question? Because we still have, we have like missing vocab. Oh, yeah. I wrote this one. You're all done. Okay. And you can also watch the YouTube. Okay. Yeah. I think enough untuk hari ini. Terima kasih. Kita jumpa hari minggu depan. Next week. Minggu depan. Okay. So you know already now, so I, if I say minggu depan, kita berjumpa minggu depan. We are having a meeting next week. Okay.